Hello, uh, I am Dr. Saptarshi Ghosh, Consultant Clinical Oncologist from Hope and Hill Cancer Hospital and Research Center, Jyoti Akali Moore, Full Body, Shiliguri. Uh, so today we will discuss on kidney cancers as this is the World Kidney Cancer Day 2024. So I will just highlight on the systemic treatment in kidney cancers. So kidney cancers can be of two types. One is uh, localized, which can be operated and another is metastatic. Uh, so, first of all, I will highlight on the systemic therapy in non-metastatic kidney cancers. So, once a kidney cancer uh, is operable and is operated, there are some risk factors with which we decide on the adjuvant treatment, that is the post-surgery treatment of kidney cancers. So, the most important thing which has come up recently is immunotherapy. So, immunotherapy uh, drugs have come up recently in the uh, treatment of kidney cancers and uh, as uh, like in many cancers in kidney cancer after the surgical removal of the kidney cancer or even some uh, single site metastasis uh, the role of pembrolizumab has come up so one year of adjuvant immunotherapy with pembrolizumab every three weekly is indicated nowadays for little advanced risk uh, kidney cancers uh, what are the advanced risk factors so it may be a stage 2 with a grade 4 uh, uh, tumor or a sarcomatoid differentiation or any stage 3 or more kidney cancers or even some lymph node positive kidney cancers. So in these kind of kidney cancers, in clear cell, renal cell carcinoma, the indication of pembrolizumab for one year is there with which we have seen a better output in terms of overall survival and progression free survival as well. And now coming to the metastatic renal cell carcinoma. So renal cell carcinoma is basically, it's a kind of systemic disease. It uh, tends to spread early to the blood. So that's why the role of immunotherapy is there. So in metastatic uh, cancers, uh, we have the IMDC risk factor stratification scoring. So th that is a scoring system to just uh, prognosticate the kidney cancers, whether it's a poor risk or intermediate risk or a low risk. So nowadays, the role of uh, immunotherapy again is uh, very much important, especially in the sarcomatoid uh, variants of clear cell uh, carcinoma of uh, RCC. And uh, in this kind of uh, patients, uh, we give pembrolizumab along with lenvatinib, which is uh, nowadays the treatment of choice in uh, metastatic uh, renal cell cancers. And uh, it has to be given every three weekly. And lenvatinib is an oral drug. It's a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. It's an oral drug targeted therapy, which will continue daily orally. So apart from this, uh, there is another drug which is a little bit uh, more affordable to the patients. But uh, the difference in survival between this immunotherapy plus uh, TKI versus TKI alone is almost uh, to the tune of uh, 50%. So once we have this pembrolizumab plus lenvatinib in metastatic uh, renal cell carcinomas the average uh, survival uh, depends to means it goes to around two years whereas uh, with uh, the next best uh, treatment regime which is uh, uh, the oral tyrosine kinase inhibitor cabozantinib the median overall survival comes to around uh, seven eight months nine months so that's the difference between the two treatments so uh, today is the World Kid Cancer, uh, Kidney Cancer Day and uh, I just uh, wish you all a very safe life, cancer-free life and uh, wish you a very happy and healthy life. Thank you so much.